In the last couple of weeks, you've revealed that you haven't ruled out having a second referendum on independence in the next five years. Now, look, we're just very different. We've got very different views. I mean, I respect your views that you want to break up the country, but that's not my view. I think that would be a disaster for the working people of Britain. So we have profound differences between us, between us David. That's why I'm not going to have a coalition with the SNP. But because I'm never going to put at risk the unity of our United Kingdom. And why? Because I care too much about the working people of our country. And I think it would be a disaster for us to start competing against each other, driving down wages, uh, dismantling the basic state pension, which is the foundation of security in retirement, and dismantling our country. So it's a no, I'm afraid. I, I don't know what Ed Miliband is talking about. The question of independence was for the referendum last year. This election is about getting rid of the Tories. And Ed, whatever differences you have with me, surely they are as nothing to the differences both of us have with the Tories. This is about how we deliver better politics for people, not just in Scotland, but right across the UK. This election is an opportunity to seize an alternative to austerity, to protect our public services, to create more and better jobs, to have a higher minimum wage, to protect our National Health Service. Ed's going into this election not promising the money that the National Health Service needs. What I'm saying is I can help Labour be bolder, to deliver the change that David. we really need, David. because that's what this election is about. For me, it's about making Scotland's voice heard. But secondly, it's about delivering real change, not pretend change, but real change for people right across this country. Don't right. turn your back Nicola, on that, Nicola, head and let David Nicola, Cameron Nicola, back uh, into Downing Street. Oh, no, Nicola, look, here's the situation. You've got a very odd approach, because you claim you want a Labour government, but you're saying anyone but Labour. In England, you're saying vote Green. In Wales, you're saying vote Plaid Cymru. And of course, in Scotland, you're saying vote SNP. And you know that for every one less Labour MP, the likelihood is that we'll end up with David Cameron and Nick Clegg, not on the stage tonight, perhaps with a bit of N N Nigel thrown in. And the truth is, you want to gamble on getting rid of a Tory government. Ed, I can guarantee that we get rid of a Tory government if you vote Labour in this election. And the, the reality is this. If on May the 8th, there are more anti-Tory MPs in the House of Commons than there are Tory MPs, then if we work together, we can lock David Cameron out of Downing Street. Yes, so tell me tonight, you know is it the case that you would rather see David Cameron go back into Downing Street than work with the SNP? No, the Surely that cannot no. be your position, Ed. All right. No, the difference is, Nicola, I've fought Tories all my life. Unlike the SNP, which presaged a Tory government in 1979. Oh, Unlike your leader, Alex Salmond, who Ed. said vote Lib Dem in 2010, and we end up with a Ed. Lib Dem Tory coalition. And unlike you at this election, you fought Labour this all your life, Nicola. We have a chance to kick David Cameron right. out of Downing Street. Don't turn your back right. on it. I think, People I think, will never forgive you. All right.